hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Holly and I hope that everyone's enjoying their day so far today I'm sharing a recipe called marry me chicken it's a recipe that's been around for a long time uh, it said if you cook this for someone they will want to marry you <laughs> right away so my husband said a fried oyster po' boy would have worked for him <laughs> so and this is similar to a Tuscan chicken recipe, but I think whoever you cook it for, they would love it. And it is simple ingredients that you're going to use. And if you've been here for a while, then you know that I like to cut the chicken breast in half. Uh, it just, they cook faster and it's not as dry from the thickness because sometimes the chicken breast that I buy, they're just extremely thick and it's just hard to cook it all the way through evenly so sometimes it dries out but this takes simple ingredients and you will need some red pepper flakes and I would use less than more for this and I'll explain later some thyme leaves dried two cloves of garlic mince half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes and you want to have those chopped up but this is the ones that I used and I just chop them up in little small pieces and three-fourths cup of chicken broth a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese and you only need about a tablespoon of olive oil just to cook the chicken in some salt and pepper and also some um, basil fresh basil to just garnish it at the very end but the first thing you will do is heat your olive oil in a oven safe pan because you want to be able to put this in the oven so once your oil is hot enough just start adding the chicken pieces and make sure to you want to season these with salt and pepper and you want to do that generously now make sure that your heat is at least medium high heat and you want to cook these until they're golden brown on both sides so about four to five minutes per side now make sure that your pan's big enough to fit all the chicken in and I usually do this at the grocery store my basket will be full when I get to the register sometimes they'll say do you want a separate basket or have two baskets I'm like no <laughs> I have put everything into one I will get it all back into one so I am known for making sure everything fits <laughs> at one in one container one basket whatever it is but just cook these until they are golden brown and then you want to take them and put them on a plate and you want to make sure that the heat is still at a medium heat and try to just scrape off some of the bits that are there add your garlic and you want to cook this for about a minute and just get that separated you know mix it up really well then you will add your thyme and just keep mixing as you as you add add your flakes add your chicken stock then add your heavy cream And you want to cook this for about five minutes and then after about five minutes then add the sun-dried tomatoes and your Parmesan cheese make sure you mix this thoroughly to incorporate it and you want to just kind of spoon over that sauce and then you will put this in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes just to cook the chicken through and to thicken the sauce up some and when that comes out then you will add some of the basil leaves that you've cut up on top and this is what it looks like when it's done now the thing I was saying about the pepper flakes I would not add a full teaspoon unless you absolutely love spice because I do find it had a lot of spice to it and I like to taste my food not just the spice <laughs> And the recipe calls between a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of the red pepper flakes. I should have went with the smaller amount, especially if you have children, I would not add that full amount, but choose how 
you like your spice in your food to add those pepper flakes but I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in seeing more videos like it please click that subscribe button and the notification bell and that will notify you when I post new videos and I hope that everyone has a blessed day and I thank y'all so much for watching